How does one learn to love? How does one learn to be kind? How does one create heaven on earth? Where do we learn what these words mean? Where do we first get to practice living the golden rule? At home from parents and siblings, then from teachers, priests, and Sunday school teachers? Unfortunately, because my childhood was so difficult, I could not remember most of what had happened to me. In an effort to remember, in my early 20s, I began to paint my family from old family photos and home movies. Forty years later, I now remember everything, from my very first fear to my greatest joy today. Golden rule is treat others as you want to be treated. Being grateful to life and your fellow travelers on this journey. It's about being kind to one another and understand each other. Help people if we can, appreciate them because living it is the only way to practice it. Be a universal being. To me, it is pure physics. It works on frequency which we emit, positive or negative. It comes back to us in circle. It has many names and law of attraction is one of them. And as they say, it's like gravity. It works 100%. If something goes out of our hand, it's gonna touch the ground no matter what. My family is now a subject for installation of three Hindus and one Sikh families as part of Paradise Project. So to put life in frames and make the Hindu culture live during the process, we are exploring Indian art and Indian fabrics, which are so rich in colors and so vibrant. So we came across miniature paintings which are dated back in 750 AD in India. They depict the vastness of the culture. One of the outstanding features of these paintings is the intricate brushwork which contributes to their unique identity and showcases the cultural heritage which is extremely diverse across the country and yet united under the national motto that is unity in diversity, the art of coexistence. So if we see it closely, India has been practicing golden rule since ages, known as karma. It means action or deed. Gurus define it as the principle of cause and effect, where intent and actions of an individual influence his or her own future. So I would say universe is one big ball of energy. Let's fill it with kind one, because love is the only answer. It can heal broken hearts and we will be surprised how people reach up to their true potentials. So let's make heaven on earth a reality. It is my belief that the difficulty in manifesting the golden rule is that many children, like I was, are taught that the most evil acts of mankind are love, and that truly loving acts are weakness. More and more today, the truth of pedophile priests, neglectful, abusive parents, and similar acts by men in power over girls and women are being spoken about truthfully. Finally. 
It is through this process of learning and speaking the truth for myself, rather than protecting my parents from their abuses, that I found peace within, that I found what it means to live the golden rule, that I want to treat others as I have come to learn to treat myself. By following the fifth commandment to honor my mother and father, that is, by believing their truth for me, it was impossible for me to know what true love is, what true protection and care are. Many adults are in this difficult position, being parents and not knowing what true love is, not knowing that abuse is not love. If you are wondering if you are such a parent, please take the ACE test, the Adverse Childhood Experience Test. Often parents who were abused as children don't understand that the ways that they were treated are not okay. Neglect, hunger, physical, verbal, and sexual abuse are a few serious adversities of childhood that are toxic. Others include poor education, mental illness or addiction in the home, an incarcerated family member, domestic violence, and divorce. If you have four or more of these experiences in your childhood, you are likely to be suffering from PTSD from childhood trauma. Please ask for help to outgrow these old ideas so that you do not have to pass them on to your children. It is possible to recover from childhood adversity, even as an adult. Think Round offers treatment for adults and children suffering from toxic stress. This treatment is free, non-medical, non-diagnosing, non-religious, and confidential. For more information, please email info at thinkround.org. As the Me Too and Time's Up movements advance, as more and more adults with ACEs seek help to temper and redirect their hard feelings from childhood, and as more healthy adults become trauma-informed, then sanity will return to families, and learning the golden rule will be taught as a truly loving way of life. As we heal these broken heartstrings from childhood to support building healthy families, We are also laying a foundation for re-establishing a happy, healthy earth. In this way, heaven can be made manifest so that everyone knows from their own experience what true love is, what true protection and care are. Now, we at Think Round, Inc. are calling for everyone around the world to prioritize preventing toxic stress of children and to prioritize healing all adults with adverse childhood experiences. To be a part of living the golden rule and manifesting heaven on earth, please join the movement to end ACEs in America and around the world. My name is Heidi Harden. I am the founder and director of Think Round, Inc. Our twin visions are to complete the Paradise Project and build the Center for the Human Family to house it. Our code of ethics is, Earth is home, humans are family.